Good afternoon. Welcome to the Unto Theo Lord Ministries channel. Please subscribe, like, and share. Please consider contributing to the ministry for our primary ministry is to help the ones in jail or in nursing home. And when we go to those local jails and nursing homes, we need Bibles and other printings to hand out to these that are so often overlooked. Please help us reach these needed souls. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the video description. We are also looking to partner with a few Christian businesses as an affiliate. Look into the video description for hyperlinks. Thank you. And remember, when you click on subscribe, you have to click on all to then receive all notifications because if not, YouTube then actually decides on how many you get. Let us begin in prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Whether or not if the atheists see that of the, it is of the Muslims or whoever else may not believe in you, like it or not, your will will be done. Even though we look forward to the day you send your son for us, we dread to leave those lost souls behind. We hope to reach as many as we can in your name, in your Son's most holy name. We hope to reach as many souls as we can. Bless this, bless this a channel. that it may do just that. That it may reach as many souls as it can for your son's sake, most holy name sake. In, in that of Yeshua's most holy name we pray. Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, all my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm not sure which way to call this comment we are about to view. It is either stupid or it's funny. I will let you decide. Here is my OP I did a couple of months ago, asking for what people might want to think are verses that supports OSAS. I didn't get any because no one could come up with any. Gee, I wonder why. So, Todd Austin Jennings stated in Romans 128 through 29, and even they 
did not like to retain God in their knowledge. God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder. And he made sure that the word here was pointed out, debate, deceit, blah, blah. He thinks that this word, and let's go ahead and look it up in the Greek, Romans 1, 28, 29. Romans 1. Okay, these are people that do not believe like those that are the atheist. Okay. 128.29. That word is in verse 29, so let's go ahead and skip right on to 29. Debate. And let's see what the Greek word says about it. That may not be an accurate modern term for it. I have not looked it up yet, so why don't we look it up together? A quarrel that is by implication wrangling, contention, debate, strife, variance. Okay, the word debate is in it, but because, gee, I like to keep things in context. Let's get out of this view and being filled with all unrighteousness. Gee, and 28 says even and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge. These are the ones that Paul is warning us about. Okay. Context. And no, not contest. Context. Okay, it goes on. Backbiters, haters of God, these despiteful, proud boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without un without understanding, covenant breakers. Okay. Keeping it in context. Sometimes we as Christians need to have need to have debates among us Christians so we can understand what the truth is. Okay. Charles believes in eternal salvation. I believe that we can do stupid things to lose our eternal salvation. Okay. So, and here we go again, unless there be, again, he wants to make sure that I see it, envyings, wrath strives, backbiting, okay,
debate is among other characteristics of people who have backslid. Okay. And I make the point that there are two different types of debate. One is to seek the truth, which that is what most of us Christian try to do. I still have only done one debate, and it's something I prefer not to do, but just as soon as I finish with the little bit of modification of the OSAS, I will go back again. And What am I doing? Let me get to the first actual. Where is it? Okay, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. See, Charles try to redefine words, and it's like I was looking at him with the, you've got to be kidding, and he took it as a blank stare that I had nothing to say, It's but it's, really, you are trying to redefine the words, so... Here's what I'm doing. Taking the key word. Giving the Greek number how it is pronounced and the definition and what type of a what type of speech it is. This one is a verb. This is what I am, this is what I am updating. It is still the exact same verses. I'm just updating. Because apparently some people likes to deceive and say, oh, no, 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 that isn't what that word means. Bull. Bull. And and plus I even without even without even trying, I find more verses that supports that we can do stupid things to lose our salvation. Okay? We can do stupid things. So, if anybody will want to see the updated keep an eye on either this channel because I will try to announce it because see even the Bible tells us to then be wary of wolves in sheep clothing 
And so we have to figure out who is right and who is wrong. If I am truly wrong, please prove it. But you have to do a real good job, but please prove it. With now, with now over 50 verses, just from the New Testament, And, well, Charles didn't even come with one that he wanted to redefine words. That is basically the same that I got from a conversation on Facebook on just on this topic about three months prior to. I have made a YouTube video on it, so you can look back in the history and find it. Only one person out of the three or four that have said, I'm wrong, and I begged them for scripture, all of them. Well, show me scripture. Only one showed me one scripture, and I seen where the problem was with that one verse he brought. So, One is to seek the truth, like, like whenever Dr. David Wood does a debate against a Muslim, like Dr. Kent Holbein does when he debates the atheist that he does. He wants, Dr. Holbein wants you know, them to show him evidence, and all that they can do is lines on a piece of paper and a few other weak little pieces of evidence that is quickly dismantled. One of them, and I have talked about it in one of my videos, is that they claim that the universe is 13.5 billion years old. And how do they come up with that number? The universe is 13.5 billion light years wide. So, so then, therefore, if it started from a single point and it blew up, it must have took 13.5 billion light years for it to for it to spread out that way. What is a light year? A light year is a measurement of how far light of how far light travels in a year. Let's say, and I do not remember the exact amount. Actually, I think I've got that open. No, I don't, but I can get that one open. Recent. And where did that come from? Which it, at which it is the name of the video that I am talking about. 
whoops, uh, find. What is a light year? It is distance, not time. Although time is a part of the equation, okay, it's distance. How far light travels in one year? How far it travels? Okay, sorry about that, guys. I have heard what sounded like that something fell, so I had to go and figure out what happened. But I'm back. No problem. So, he doesn't like it when I bring up the Greek. Gee, I wonder why. Do you not think that words change over time? Wait. I am a big advocate for the Codex Antioch, what is now being more commonly called as Codex Antioch. What that is, it is that of the Masoretic Textus, which is the Old Testament, and the Textus Receptus, which is the New Testament that comes from first century. And the King James Bible is translated from that. Here is a, well, the only <coughs> problem I see with the King James. Language changes. Okay. Language changes, and in 400 and now 11 years, let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, let's go to av1611.com. This is a website for tools about the King James Bible. Let's go over here to tools and go to the dictionary. Now, we in America has this crazy obsession of taking words apart to understanding them, especially when they have a RE in front of it. Because RE is to do again, right? So then, therefore, if we see a word that has a prefix or that of a recognized prefix and, a rec and or recognized suffix, we want to take the word apart to look at the root word. Well, in England, 1611, they didn't have this RE to do again. So, if we go to the R's, and look up Replenish, Repent, Reply, Report, oh, Replenish, right there. To fill. to stock with numbers of abundance. Uh-oh. Where does it say to do again? To feel again. See, when Elohim spoke twice about replenish the first time well the earth was freshly created this is the verse 
that people like Richard Dawkins uses this word to say, you see, the Earth has been here for more than 6,000 years. And he's from England. He should know his own language history. But he doesn't. Or he's lying. That's a big problem. Okay, and just to show it, let's see here. What do we do? We go and click on Bible and click on search because there are ver two verses that I recall. There might be more that has the word replenish in the Old Testament. Genesis 128 and 91. Right there they are. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and what? Replenish the earth. Again, when we see this word, we, we see the R-E in front of it. Oh, to fill again. No. The 1611 or the early 1600s definition from England does not have that type of connotation. Okay. Language changes. And I strongly would not recommend getting the new NKJ or that of the NKJV. They messed it up. They have messed that up. Okay. That is why it is sometimes important to understand or to at least have access to a program that can tell you about the Greek or the Hebrew. So here it is. We click on KJV Plus and set this and be fruitful and multiply and replenish. So then we click on the H4390. To fill, be full of, in a white application. Oh, where does this say to do again? In the original Hebrew. It doesn't, but this is a England's English word in the early 1600s. <clears throat> How can you How can you compare 400 years difference and a ocean away? of linguistics. And I hope that I am using that word right.
Okay. But there's a reason why he doesn't like. I don't need Greek. Well, yeah, you do, so you can have a better understanding of the words. Okay. Yep. So then I have used the right word, linguistics. It is the scientific study of language and its structure. Okay. If you are going to do a word issue, you need to understand the linguistics. This goes back to what I'm doing on the upgrading. This right here. Adding the linguistics to it. So that there is no... Well, people will still probably doubt, but for the ones that are on the fence and open to a bigger understanding, they are going to say, wow. I wish I could preach eternal salvation. It would make the gospel a whole lot sweeter. But there are some hard truths. So, he have posted one more or, or even possibly more. Yeah, it's one more passage. You can pause it to then read it. Then I reply back, then you are only getting about one third of the total picture. You can still get the gospel and what you must do to be saved and general over overview of lessons, but you get a whole lot more understanding the Greek and the Hebrew. But that is your choice. Have a great day. Oh, by the way, it is funny you post scripture that we are not to debate, but what are you but what do you think you are doing right now? Debating with me. Funny. It, and it is. Facebook. I would say a good at least one third of it is debates, 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 debates. Most of them small, some of them blows up to being huge. But it is debates, debates. But I said, have a great day. That is my way of saying, okay, I am through. And then he tries to say, I'm contending for the faith that you have departed from. Didn't he just admit eternal salvation is not biblical? Wow. Did he just not admit? 
that eternal salvation is not biblical. He quotes another verse and he tries to prove what I already know about the different translations. Let's let's go ahead and take a look at the rest. I believe in the Bible. What holy book do you believe in? And of the King James translation. There is a phrase for what you are doing. Generally speaking, most people do a confirmation bias. And yes, this is a real thing. I don't know if I put it on the slides I'm doing. I guess I need to check that later. The Blessed King James Bible is the Word of God. All other perversions are the tales of the enemy, or the tares of the enemy. And he goes on to quote more scripture. A it is about the tares. Although it probably could mean different perverted translations of the Bible. But I don't think so. See, the thing about parables is that there are likely more than two meanings to the parables. And so when the talk of parables comes about, try to keep an open mind that there is probably more than one meaning to the parables. So, you tell me, Is he being funny or does he need to learn more? Let me make this clear. We all are in a constant state of learning. We are all in a constant state of learning. If you think that you don't need to learn anymore, you're wrong or you're dead or you are like one of those people that says, I don't need to learn anymore because I know all that I need to know. 
life changes. People over 40 understands how fast things changes. People under 25, not so much so. People between 25 and 40, uh, I don't know if they would understand that or not. His biggest error is posting a parable without any mention of exactly what he thinks it's talking about. Another mistake is that while he's trying to prove, okay, by this right here, are you being saved? Are you saved or are you being saved? Okay. He is trying to contend for the eternal salvation. Yet he makes this kind of a comment. Because if you've departed from the faith, you have lost your salvation. Without that faith, you are not saved. John 3.16 Whosoever believes... Believe is a present tense word. Believes in him should not perish. Oops. So even he has proven my point, even though he was trying to do the opposite. He just proved my point. Excuse me. This is why having at least a, a resource to look up the Hebrew. Now, this is free. You can download it. Search eSword, just like this shows, the small e dash capital S W O R D. Look it up. It is a free download. Everything you see here in all of these tabs were free downloads. Okay, all, all of these. There are others that you can download 
and I would like to one day. Let's see here. Let's go. Hit comments. Title caption status. Okay, I'm going to have to move this over so that you can see it. See this? Purchase, 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 purchase. You can, well, these are the things that I have installed, so I will have to go to where. Okay, if it, hey, I mean, if at all it has download, then it is free. But, see, I have got some that is installed, some that is now open to be downloaded, and some that requires a purchase. So, there is a lot that is free. A lot. And this is free. Let's see here. Of all the over 15 years I've had this on my laptops, he has never sent an email asking to then donate. There is an option to donate, but I don't remember where it is. Okay. But you can go ahead and donate if you have the funds to do it. <coughs> I just don't right now. Um, okay, but this is a great resource. Some many years ago when I was going through, going through that of a, going through a seminary school, I had to pay for this one, and I still have it. I am just waiting for it to, I am just waiting for it to then come up. It is, I have an old and slow laptop. This one I've had to pay for. I do not use it as much as the eSword. There is more in eSword, but I have done something back in the seminary for the first couple of months that I would check the Greek or that of the uh, or that of the uh, I'm a Hebrew side by side with this, and every time it was accurate. Now then, I did not check them all out, but every one that I have checked was absolutely accurate. There are other things.
that is in here that is not in over there. But this is an expense, well, I call it that of a, a expensive little program. I don't know if it, I'm not sure how this price compares to others. Other than one kind of I do not remember what it what it's called but there is one well that is this year over a thousand dollars I don't know how much this is now because like I said it's been several years but I still have it so this is accordance that I almost never use. Why? Because, because practically everything I need is right here. And it is free to anyone. So, th so then when I am helping you learn, you can just walk right along with me and have the one you've downloaded open and just follow along. I don't have a problem with it. Follow along. But do be careful with guys like this. He is a forked tongue. All right, guys, have a nice day. I am about to do a couple of different videos. One of them is going to probably create some controversy. But let me strongly suggest one thing. Watch through that whole video. I can go ahead and I can basically show you what it's about. <clears throat> Was Adam the first man? And, like I said, before you make comments on this, be sure to wait and watch the whole video. Watch it before you make any comments. All right. Thank you guys and wait for the call to be saved. Okay. What must I do to be saved? God the Father Theos did this part. He sent his only begotten son, at which, let me point out, that the son did so of his own free will, okay, that, that of Theos sent his only begotten son, 
John 3, 16 to one, bring an end to the old covenant, which is why the Old Testament is called the Old Testament. Testament and covenant are actually synonyms and thus brought in a new covenant because in the Old Testament, in order to cover sins, they had to sacrifice lambs. Oops, where have we heard that term in the New Testament? Oh yeah, John, John the Baptist called Jesus the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Okay. So, therefore, Jesus, Yeshua, HaMashiach, Jesus the Messiah, sheds his holy blood to atone for our sins. He paid the penalty for our sins. Okay, so now, and then, and, and then the Holy Spirit is sent afterwards, but what do we do before we can believe anything we have got to hear? And here is but just a couple of mini verses in the Bible that says we need to hear the gospel. And then we need to believe it. We need to believe that Jesus is the Son of God and that he came to pay the penalty for our sins and that we are to accept it. Now, I think I consider him as, well, I actually consider him as a friend and I hope that he considers me as a friend too, which is why when he did a video on things like this, steps to salvation type means, he did not give my name on that video, but I think he was in a way pointing me out as well as others. But here is the thing, every single point on this has scripture to back it up. Now, absolutely, you have to hear. Absolutely, you have to believe because one of the verses is he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. At, at the congregation that he preaches, he boasts that he have baptized, oh, excuse me, he boasts that he have baptized over 200 people. So I know that he still believes in the baptism as well. So, hear, believe, and baptize. Now, there is arguments of when do we repent and confess. Now, 
whether if you want to have this red line here, that's on you. If you want to have the red line here, this is what has been believed for a very long time. Now, repent of sins. I personally, my personal opinion, at which it does, does not count, can be put after baptism because we still sin even though we've been baptized because what is in the Our Father's Prayer, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Repent of sins. Okay. You are actually being baptized for the forgiveness of sins. So why have this be before this? So, yeah, this can go after because we still sin after we are baptized. So, yeah, the repent of sin, personal opinion, should be after baptism. And remain faithful. We do those things, and I think I did a video on that. If not, I will do one. But we do those things because we are saved, not to be saved. There is a big difference. If you read Ephesians 2, verse 10, see, a lot of people want to quote Ephesians 2, verse 8 and 9. We are saved by faith through, through grace alone. Woohoo! And want to stop at verse 9 as if there's a brick wall between verse 9 and 10. And no, you got to go on. Verse 10 then goes on to explain, then we are called to do good works. Even though our good works according to the Father is like filthy rags, he still calls us to do them. What did I just say? Yes. Even though our good works are like filthy rags, he still calls us to do them. Okay, so, therefore, regardless where you want to put this line, whether here or over here, regardless, every single one of these have scriptural reference, period one of them being believe and is baptized, not or be baptized, and means you've got to do them both. This, this same preacher believes we cannot lose our salvation. 
Well, unfortunately, I've got some bad news for you. Yes, we can. Read Revelation chapters 2 and 3. Okay, but here are the steps of salvation. One of the things we are called to do to remain faithful is to congregate to worship together. Uh, another one is to be a cheerful giver. When I do the video on it, at which today's date is June 25th, 2022, so look back in late June of 2022 for this video or maybe even earlier for the explanation of what it means to remain faithful. As a matter of fact, hold on, I will look to see if I have done one. Okay. It looks like, yes, I did. Are we saved by works, part one and part two? I was seeing that it was taking so long. And I was not even halfway through. So I did a part one and part two. Here is the thing, whenever we preachers talk about the importance of us Christians doing good works, some of you want to say why that is legalism. It isn't legalism. If it is in the Bible, so then don't even go there. If it's in the Bible, that is what Thales calls us to do. Watch those two videos before you say anything, because I will likely delete your comment. But this is what it means to be saved. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Unto Theo Lord Ministries channel. Please subscribe, like, and share. Please consider contributing to the ministry for our primary ministry is to help the ones in jail or in nursing home. And when we go to those local jails and nursing homes, we need Bibles and other printings to hand out to these that are so often overlooked. Please help us reach these needed souls. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the video description. We are also looking to partner with a few Christian businesses as an affiliate. Look into the video description for hyperlinks. Thank you. And remember, when you click on subscribe, you have to click on all to then receive all notifications because if not, 
YouTube then actually decides on how many you get.